fire, yo. Welcome back to Beamer Fan. Literally BMW M Town once again. We got a nice M4 comp sitting there, Island, Alpine White. We got more cars pulling in too, including this X5M in blue. Got the yellow DRLs. Hey, what's good? Oh, not much. Doing all right? Check this out though. It's an Alpina B7. Now, this is one of our favorite. Uh, BMW's ever made in the family, especially this new generation. You can see it's got Alpina written down low below the bumper. Front bumper super aggressive. Nice Alpina wheels as well. Sheesh, we see that nice B7 badge right there. Then you come around back and you see the quad tail pipes on the back of a 7 series. It's the closest thing to an M7 that there actually is since BMW won't give us an M7. But speaking of M's, nice X6M in this color. It's kind of like a champ, dark champagne color. But then you can see Daniel's M8 Grand Coupe competition with all the right mods on it, all the carbon work, the carbon pieces down low, the diffuser, the wheels go crazy as well. But then he's got that interior, bro. The red interior, carbon bucket seats. Nice carbon fiber steering wheel like my car. I mean, this thing's proper spec, proper build on the car. We've seen it a few times on the channel. This one's gin tiny tune. It's got no plates on it right now, but the frozen white is really nice in this car. But this one also has carbon fiber bucket seats. These are black, mostly Alcantara bucket seats as well. So it's very cool. The F82 M4, we got Benz 3 Series. Nice Porter Mount Blue on this M340. Damn, it's nice too. All blacked out on F90 M5. I, like, I really like the wheel setup on this one. I haven't really seen the orange on a G80 M3 on the DRLs. I haven't seen that yet. It looks really good. Let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know, man. I'm probably going to go with the all black on the G80 platform. You see there's more cars pulling in too. Damn. V10 M5. But check this out. Enrique's car is just sitting here looking good. Posted up, parked up. The DRLs on. It's got the orange accents. Very tastefully done. Even inside the wheels, there's orange accents because the interior is black and orange as well it's a nice v10 m5 though beautiful car yas marina blue on the f80 m3 and then we've got west coast girls personal car f80 m3 cs you can see it's got the two-tone interior bucket full roll cage as well another v10 m5 but it's crazy looking at all the yellow drls that these beamer meets nowadays man, i absolutely love it very race car inspired damn check this m4 out all black frozen black it's got the red drls too it's pretty sinister too man it looks good it's got orange interior with the orange buckets damn look at the tail lights too So we obviously didn't just get these cars to park them up and look at them. We're gonna be taking these things on a nice drive tonight. We've got a few locations we're gonna stop at, but should, should be some pretty cool car meets going on tonight. Man, you can see the dark green looking good right there. We can check out Kevin's M4 GTS parked up next to Daniel's uh, G80 M3 in purple. Now he's got the M Performance exhaust poking out in the middle, the diagonal fashion. Nice HRE wheels. He's also got the carbon buckets in red, but just look at the color. I think this is a Daytona purple. Before we continue on with today's video, we get to thank the sponsor, which is Simply Carbon Fiber. Simply Carbon Fiber offers real and genuine carbon fiber accessories like the beautiful phone case that we've been using for the past couple years now. The carbon fiber weave from Simply Carbon Fiber never fails. Look how good it matches with the OEM carbon fiber on my G82. I mean, every single panel, it matches. And it even matches the weave on the bucket seats as well. But what's better than that, they have other carbon fiber accessories like watches, money clips, sunglasses, wallet, AirPod cases, and more. So if you guys are interested in getting yourself or some loved ones some real carbon fiber accessories, hit the links in the description or go to simplycarbonfiber.com and use the code BF10 for 10% off. And let's me and say, let's continue on with today's video. The full yellow roll cage. The green is real dynamic, especially here at night. It's got a GTS front lip too. So same lip off of that car full carbon on this one actually wow that would look really good on my m4 too damn 
then from here you look at this nice clean m3 cs and like a lime rock gray or some color like that looks really good this is actually a real nice combination as well e92 m3 natural aspirated v8 with f90 m5 comp lci facelift v8 twin turbo they got a few cars that parked up next to my m4 and the e30 it's got the full m body count bumpers wheels and a nice m4 cs and mineral white just like mine it literally looks just like my car just lci all three of these cars together if i zoom out it's absolutely amazing this trio right here see it so this kind of gives you the vibe of the me you just got more m cars pulling in and out you got all the m cars parked up over there as well but we got a lot of people here in the middle kind of vibing out to some of the music just enjoying the night <laughs> that is a v10 m5 Oh my god, but it's kind of nice to see some of the cars rip through the street entering and leaving this meet. Damn, more cars pulling in. This thing I can't get enough of. This frozen matte black G82 M4 comp. It's got nice wheels on it. I know you guys have been commenting saying get the clear tail lights. This is the CSL fully clear blacked out tail lights, and I must say, I absolutely need these tail lights in my life. But more importantly, I think these tail lights will go really well with the blue, the port amount blue on my car, especially when we change the color up here shortly. Regular people on the street, so don't, you know, somebody's trying to go home, I'm sure go get drunk somewhere, let them go get there, and uh, we're gonna come. So as you can see, everybody's starting up the engines. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get on the road. We're gonna go to a nice location that's not too far from here. We're gonna see how we feel. I don't know if we're gonna go the full route, but we're gonna try to anyway, and just enjoy some of these cars on the road. There's a lot of them to capture. God. Kind of see the vibe right here. You see everybody's getting in the cars. And then in about five, 10 minutes, we're gonna head out. You see this nice E30 M3 uh, started the engine up. I'm actually not sure if it's authentic uh, M car, but nevertheless, looks really good with the white paint. You got E30, G82, F82. Looks good. Nice uh, Maserati SUV as well. That is very nice.
looks like we caught up to the rest of the gang in the city streets. <laughs> looks like the Hellcats, a few other people had to hit the gas station right here. But look at this E92 M3, man. It's got a nice wing on it, nice wheels, track set up on the car. This E92 right here is actually 335, so it's boosted. A lot of turbo sounds coming off this car. Just listen to the turbos. Sounds wild. GTS. The M8 got pulled over on the way here, unfortunately, but looks real good in that frozen white paint. Both these cars together, both frozen. G9 right there. Anthony's wide body. G82. Dang, y'all. Looks so good in the black now. We've got a nice couple cars over here, including an old school, I think 997, uh, GT3, 911 beautiful car i love seeing these in red this is a very nice color i've never seen before on any g80 i'm not sure if it's some kind of individual color or a wrap my guess is a wrap but nevertheless really cool color looks really good especially with the black wheels what do you guys think and over here is a dark green on this new g87 m2 also looks really good it's almost black but then when you see when the light hits it you get like a green metallic going on very nice which one are you picking you take an m2 or this g80 look at the rear end on this thing too in the light wow it's like a salmon color this is a clean uh e28 5 series as well in a very nice color in reverse that is nice i'm not sure which car it was but all these cars i'm guessing the super was really making a noise over here you got a few cars kind of tucked off the wide body on the corvette that's a crazy over in this corner we got a nice couple of porsches this is a 991 gt3 i think it's 997 look at the wing on this fully adjustable and everything nice wheels on it roll cage proper car nice to see this g80 in the frozen black spec man m4 competition cool look at the tint on it too just all black damn even the tail lights are tinted on this everything is just blacked out Damn, got the wide body Urus in black out here too. Look at the wheels. This is nice, man. I like this. V8 twin turbo is right here idling. Some kind of exhaust on it. That's crazy, bro. Wow. All that carbon on it. The fuse are super aggressive. Oh, this thing is awesome, though. Mercia Lago. It's got the wheels on it as well. Doors going up. Man, these cars are just timeless. Well, the wing with the wheels, I really like. Door going up. This is probably my favorite shot of the see over here we got quite the section for exotics a supra a gtr but look at this lime green on the 991.2 gt3 rs wide by liberty walk gtr nissan right here as well <laughs> Wow, LEDs 
Yo, that's a cool combo. Now we are inside the main part of this event, which is the shop. You see they have a nice red Huracan parked up. But they're doing dino runs on a Supra. Now you see the Supra has an M badge on it as well. It looks pretty cool. So it's gonna be interesting to see when these guys get started, how much power this car is gonna be putting down. Damn, this thing's pretty set up. I mean, you look at the wheels, titanium exhaust as well. But what's going on under the engine bay? We got some intakes. I'm sure it's probably two. You can see it looks like their last run. 721 horsepower. Looks like this is Fresh Kicks car. This looks so much different than the last time we have seen this car on the channel. I think last time he didn't have any wing at all. Uh, he, he had different wheels. He has a different exhaust as well. His tail lights were different. So pretty much the whole car almost looks completely different aside from the color. So I really like this thing. And I see a lot of you guys been telling me to go ahead and get these uh, cleared out tail lights. We might have to try it. It looks really good in person. It would be nice to uh, see the startup sequence with the light. You can see the front of the car. He added a new bumper as well. So yeah, this whole car looks completely different since the last time I've seen it. A lot of carbon work looks really good. You see they got a motor out the car. I wonder which one this is. You guys know, definitely drop a comment. Got some nice G80s outside the shop as well. I like the hood on this one. I haven't seen this hood before. It's got some nice louvers in it. It also ducks down, has some louvers in this part as well, which I haven't seen. We're thinking about hoods on mine, uh, but I gotta weigh my options first. We gotta see what our front bumper and fenders are gonna look like on the car first, and we'll kinda go from there. It may not even need anything at all. If you guys haven't seen a recent video, we actually just did an update on my F82 as well, so go check that out. But uh, we should be doing a few more bits of these cars. We're actually gonna modify it a little bit more. Ooh, that's close. I like that. Also got a nice F90 M5 since Air Rises car right here competition he's got down pipes on it listen to that this thing just looks so good man look at the exhaust on the top the wheels helicopter. we got a helicopter joining the crew we have some more exotics over here including a nice yellow and white huracan look at the wheels on there fully glossed out you kind of get the vibe of the car from this angle right here. You got a bone stock Huracan right here in green, looks really good too. But check these cars out across the street. Purple STL looks really good with the black accent. And then behind that is a nice matte yellow Huracan. Some graffiti wrap on the car as well. Look at the fenders, man, the carpet fenders on STL. And then right here, you just hear the Eurus idling. It sounded good. V8 twin turbo. And then we got a lady driven super right there as well on the pink. But wow, this right here is stunning. Ferrari 812 GTS. So this is the uh, drop top or spider version of the 812 super fast v12 natural aspirated from ferrari wow all right v10 just started up too this is nice too the full gold chrome uh gallardo on the lamborghini we've seen this car a few times on the channel looks really good um i'm sure he's got the full exhaust system on the car as well but look at the wing too man but the diffuser is probably the, my favorite part about the car overall you got the exhaust poking out there big race car diffuser and full body kit too i'm sure this car looks familiar we were riding with marlin earlier in his uh twin turbo huracan v10 bro we got some cool rollers with it you can see that titanium exhaust right there poking out but this is the first time i've ever seen a liberty walk kit on the new generation super that looks pretty cool all blacked out as well There's a lot of all blacked out cars here tonight Damn, nice SLS gold wing pulling in in the middle of the chaos. Yeah, I think this is a good time to get up out of here. Let's try and link up with everybody else off the premises and see what our next move is. So it looks like what's going on. They're kicking everybody off the streets. We can see some of the supercars that we saw earlier parked up pulling into here. Oh, 
all black I ain't looking good Side. We got some of the M's parked up. Had to check out on this 3 Series. It is on fire, literally on fire right now. 340, M340, M335, something like that. It's F30. This M4 is very nice though with the wing on it. Body kit, Sakura Orange. 